Hi everybody! Welcome to our math class today. Today we are going to be talking about um, using measuring cups and measuring spoons, which I know we usually use measuring cups and measuring spoons in the kitchen, so this lesson could also work for food science, but today we want to talk about how um, they fit into one another. So that will be um, a part of understanding fractions and um, how this is so purposeful um, in our everyday life because um, I'm sure that you guys have realize that being at home, um, you have to cook and that you have to prepare food. Um, and yes, you can order out um, and get takeout. I've definitely done that. But um, it's a really important skill to be able to prepare food at home. And sometimes when we prepare food, um, it requires for a specific amount of each thing. So we've practiced this. Um, last year we made some trail mix and we worked on filling our cups until they were full. Um, and we've definitely practiced this in food science this year when with all of our cooking. Um, but today we're gonna take a closer look at the specific measurements of measuring cups and measuring spoons and see how they compare to one another. So today we will be looking at four measuring cups and two measuring spoons. Um, I think that these are the, the basic, the most essential um, measuring units that we can use in the kitchen. Um, so we're just gonna talk about their names and how we can identify them. And then we're gonna go into a lesson about how they compare um, after that. My measuring cups might make a little noise through this, so just bear with me. But the first measuring cup that we have today is the one cup. So on my measuring cup, you can see that it says it on the handle. This is really common, so most measuring cups will say it on the handle or some part um, of the cup so that you can easily identify it. Um, sometimes the numbers can be really small, so that's when I, when I bought my measuring cups, I wanted to make sure that I could clearly read it um, and see it just so that it was the easiest for me. So this is our one cup. Um, so this is when you hear, oh, I'm going to have a cup of milk or um, a cup of goldfish for a snack. Um, this is where that cup comes from. It's a specific measurement and um, you can see the one cup being used in um, baking or um, really any kind of recipe um, might ask for a specific amount. So here is our one cup. It is the largest of our measuring cups. The next cup that we'll look at today is the half cup, All right? Can you see? So that says one slash two. That means one half cup. All right. So this cup is a little bit smaller. This is our one cup. This is our half cup. So you can see that it's a little bit smaller and you can tell because it fits inside. Okay. So this is our half cup. The next measuring cup that we'll look at today is a third cup, all right? So you can tell that on the handle because it says one slash three, that means one third cup. All right, so this is smaller than our half cup, I can tell because it fits inside, and it's smaller than our one cup because both of these fit inside. Okay, so all of our measuring cups relate to each other, um, and we're gonna talk about that right after um, we talk about their names and just seeing them on camera. All right, our next cup is one fourth. All right, one slash four cups, that means one fourth cup. All right, so this is our smallest of our measuring cups, um, and this will give you the smallest amount. So, okay, those are our measuring cups. We have four measuring cups that we're looking at today. The one cup, the half cup, the one third cup, and the one fourth cup. Those are our measuring cups. Now we're gonna look at our measuring spoons. Okay, the two measuring spoons that we're gonna look at, there are a lot of measuring spoons and you can get to really, really tiny um, amounts, but the ones that I think are the most important for us to know in the kitchen, um, the most essential is our one tablespoon. So this is a pretty hefty spoon. You can get a good amount um, of of whatever you're measuring out. Um, I like to use like a, a, a one tablespoon um, to help measure out like my peanut butter so that I'm not just eating the whole jar um, because I know that that can be really tempting sometimes um, and peanut butter usually do, does that to us. But um, so this is one tablespoon. It's our larger spoon. And um, our second spoon is a one teaspoon. So one teaspoon says one TSP, one teaspoon. So this is smaller 
than our one tablespoon. You can see that it fits inside, so it's smaller. One tablespoon, one teaspoon. And something important to note is that both of the spoons, the spoons are the smaller amount. So our, if you're measuring something small, you might be using a measuring spoon. If you're measuring something larger, you might use a measuring cup. So cups are small, our cups are bigger and our spoons are smaller. Okay guys, now we are gonna take a look at how these um, different measuring cups and measuring spoons compare to one another. So we're gonna go into a little um, measurement lesson. All right guys, we have looked at the different measuring cups and measuring spoons, and now we're gonna take some time to look at the difference um, in the specific measurements, and we're gonna compare them from one cup to another. So right here, we have the one cup. This is our largest cup. Now, if you look, we have two one-half cups. So follow my green ink, and one-half cup means that two of these cups will make up one cup. So two half cups will fit into one cup. That's how they relate to one another. The next cup that we looked at was the one third cup. The one third cup means that three of these smaller cups will fit into one cup. So this is how this relates. Our one cup is the largest and a one third cup, it takes three of them to, to fill one cup. The last and the smallest cup that we looked at was the one fourth cup. So if we look at the trend that we did with our half cups of, when you see that measurement of one half, that means that two of these cups will fill up one cup. For the one third cup, that means that three of these smaller cups will fill up one cup. Then let's look at our one fourth cup and see if there's gonna be a similar trend. So if there's a one fourth cup, then that means that it takes four of these smaller cups to fill one cup. So that's how all of these relate. All of the smaller cups can be used to fill a larger cup. So for a one-fourth cup, that means that it takes four one-fourth cups to fill one cup. I hope you guys enjoyed our math lesson today. Um, this is really important and really functional for us to understand um, the relationship between measuring cups and measuring spoons in the kitchen because that enables us to make food and to follow recipes um, independently. We practice this at school, but now you guys have a chance to practice this at home. Um, so there will be some um, worksheets that are attached in our newsletter. So if you'd like to to practice some more um, and get some more measuring cup and measuring spoon um, comparison activity, then I encourage you guys to download those and to print those out and to work on those together. Thank you so much for um, tuning in today and I'm so excited um, to see you guys next week with our next math lesson.